something. She spoke about the letter to give to the head teachers. By the end of the day, that letter that was written by Dr. Kevin Corbett will be on saveusnow.org.uk. You can also join that political movement for a pound a month, I would suggest you all do. Our next speaker is a very beautiful woman and author and health practitioner. Her own child was vaccine damaged. She has a huge social media following. Her work is relentless and she supports so many others. I'd like you to give a great big warm welcome for the very beautiful and hardworking Jacqueline Dunn! Uh, and covered 
quite a lot. And I want to share with you today some of the most startling things that I found out about vaccinations. So it turns out reactions are not actually that rare. A US study in 2010 revealed that every 40 doses results in a vaccine injury. If you do experience a vaccine injury, you're unlikely to be told about the yellow card scheme. I wasn't. Only because people aren't really told about the yellow card scheme, only 1% of vaccine injuries are reported, and out of that 1%, only 5% get compensation. If you do report a vaccine injury, or death indeed death, you then have to be able to be able to prove it that this was a vaccine in induced death or incident. And then you may be able to get some compensation. But the compensation is not paid out by the manufacturers because they have legal immunity. The compensation is paid out by you guys, the taxpayers. 